Good morning, everyone, and welcome to First Five. I'm Pastor Steve, and my goal today is to help you get your day off to a great start. The way we do that here on First Five is by spending some time together in the Word of God and in prayer. And so, if you have been with us, you know that every morning we choose one chapter of Scripture to read through together. So, I have read through it, and I invite you to join me in doing the same. Uh, most recently, we have been working our way through First and Second Corinthians, and now we are up to Second Corinthians chapter nine. Wow, I'm making great progress. And so, my invitation to you would be that when we're all done today, you'll take a moment and read the, the whole of Second Corinthians chapter nine. It's not too long a chapter, but I think you'll enjoy it. Um, but for the purpose of our lesson, we're going to look at just a portion of it. We'll be looking at verses six through eleven. So, if you want to grab your Bible. Or you want to pull it up on your phone, view the Bible app, or just Google it, or whatever. Uh, I would invite you to join me in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, beginning in verse 6. Here the Apostle Paul writes, Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. As it is written, they have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Now, he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will, and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Yesterday, we looked at chapter 8 of 2 Corinthians, and Paul, in that section, uh, begins to address this issue of financial generosity. And if you were with us yesterday, you know we talked about some of the principles that we could draw out of his teachings from chapter 8. Now, here, he continues that conversation in chapter 9. And in verse 6, he shares something that I think is tremendously important. He shares this life principle that I personally have adhered to for many years, and I would encourage all of us to, to take on as, as an important truth. He says, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Now, if you've ever done any farming, you know that this is true at the most practical level, right? If you're planting corn or beans or anything else, if you only plant a few seeds, you are not going to have much of a harvest. You must sow generously, putting the seed out there, planting much seed, if you are to reap generously. Now here, he is taking that very practical, worldly truism, and he is applying it to our faith lives. He is taking a worldly principle and giving it spiritual significance. Now, applying that to giving, our generosity in the work of Christ, he is saying that the more generous we are in giving, in sharing with the needs of others, in supporting the work of God's kingdom and all of them, the more generous we are, the more God will pour back into our lives. My experience is that this is absolutely true. The more generous we are, the more God entrusts to us that allows us to be generous all the more in the
the future in the advancing of his kingdom. I have tithed all of my adult life. Tithe, of course, is to give back to God the first tenth of all that he has given us, right? And I will tell you from experience that I have never had a season of life when God did not provide above and beyond all that I needed for life. But what's interesting here is that Paul also expands this principle beyond finances in terms of the harvest, if you will, right? I mean, let's look again at verse 10. He says, Now he, God, who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food, will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. He will increase our store of seed. In other words, he's given us financial resources that we can now pour in and invest in other ways. So he's going to increase that store of seed, right? But he says he will also increase our harvest of righteousness. In other words, there are also spiritual blessings that God has for the generous that, that honestly go well beyond just the finances that he pours back into our lives where he provides for our needs. I've also found that to be true, and I'll tell you why. The more generous our family is, the more God blesses us in every imaginable way. Sometimes when we first start tithing, there's a little fear that comes from that. Will I still be able to pay my bills? Will I still be able to take care of all that I need to? But what we soon discover is that God is faithful. And He does take care of our needs. The more we learn to trust Him, the stronger our faith becomes. And not only are our resources resupplied, but our faith is increased and our joy is multiplied. God not only blesses us materially, but He blesses us spiritually. Would you join me in prayer? Lord, I thank you for this wonderful chapter. It really is such an important life principle. If we want to reap generously in this life, we've got to sow generously. And not just, not just reap generously financially, but reach, reap a, a harvest of righteousness, a way that our faith is increased and we grow stronger in Christ. And all of that because we learn to trust you, God, with all that you've given us. So help us, God, to be generous people and help us to see in our own lives the blessing that comes from that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. God bless.